Hi, I'm Bill Griffith, an application engineer from Agilent Technologies, and today we're going to be doing some USB data logging. And we're going to be using the 34972 and three different methods using USB to log data. So let's start with using a USB cable. It's connected to the rear of the 34972, and we're going to connect it to the PC. I've already downloaded two pieces of software from Agilent Technologies, the Agilent Connection Expert, along with Agilent's Benchlink Data Logger software. Both are free and can be downloaded from the 34972A web page. I've installed them on the PC, and I've gone ahead and opened the Benchlink Data Logger software. To set it up, I'm going to start with a tab, the furthest to the left, which is Configure the Instrument. So from here, I can go ahead and add my instrument, which I've already done. I can move on to the next tab to configure the channels. So on the first channel, I've hooked up a thermistor. The way the Agilent 34972 works is it uses a universal channel, and so I can connect my DUT or sensor to any channel, and then in the software, go ahead and select what type of voltage or resistance or frequency I should measure on that channel. And again, I have a thermistor, so I'm going to scroll down and pick a 10K thermistor. So this channel is configured. My next channel is just a straight DC voltage, so I'm going to go ahead and keep the defaults. My third channel is also a DC voltage, but I'm going to scale this channel. And so I'm going to go across here and I can enter a scale value of 37.5 and an offset of minus 37.5. Since I'm no longer measuring a straight DC volts, I can also change my label to be something that is, makes more sense to my measurement. So I've gone ahead and done, made that change. From here, I can go ahead and then set up my scan on the next tab. And so we'll go ahead and set up our scan for three seconds. And I'm going to go ahead and scan continuously until I, I, I choose to stop. All right, we'll go ahead and start the scan. And then finally, we can bring up our last tab, which is a graph. So in real time, we're actually going to see our data plotted. So we can make sure that everything is going well with our data logging. And when we get enough data, we can go ahead and stop our scan. So all the data is now on the PC. So we're able to share the data. We're able to document the data very easily with the Benchlink data logger software. The second method of USB data logging we're going to do is to combine using the Benchlink data logger along with our USB stick. So let me go ahead and insert our USB stick. One of the really nice features of the Benchlink data logger software is it makes it easy to set up a lot of channels. So if you're using a lot of channels, it makes sense to use the Benchlink data logger software. And in the case of being having the PC not near the instrument, using the USB stick can really help transfer that configuration over to the 34972. So let's go ahead and save the configuration that we've set up on our Benchlink data logger software. So I'm going to go ahead and create a configuration file. It's asking about the format that we can save the data to the USB stick once it's plugged into the 34972. So it has the capability of, if you go over the file size of 64K bytes, of breaking the file into smaller pieces. This was important for older versions of Excel that could only take a file size of 64K or less. In addition to that, we get to set our delimiter. I'm going to choose comma separated delineation, which is good for Excel. So now I'm going to go ahead and save my configuration file. I'm going to save it to the USB stick. I'm going to go ahead and overwrite the one I currently have. So once we've saved our configuration file to our USB stick, we can remove it from the PC and transfer it over to 
are 34 and 972. So we'll go to the um, USB drive menu, and here we can select to log the readings to the USB stick, which is enabled. Another choice is we could export the readings that are in the non-volatile memory to the USB stick. We're not going to do that. We can change the format of the readings. This is where we get to set the, if we want to break it into small files or just keep it in one large file and also the comma separated delineation. But what we want to do is we want to import our configuration. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. I'm going to change the file name to our configuration file. So now the 34972 is configured from our USB stick that we downloaded from the, the software earlier. So from here, we can go ahead and start our scan from the 34972. So I'm going to go ahead and start a scan. And one of the nice features is I can actually monitor the individual channels to make sure that the data that we're collecting is correct. And while I'm monitoring these channels, it does not affect the scan that's in progress. I can even go in and view the readings in memory all while the scan is in process. So this does not affect the um, scan in any way. So once the scan is completed, we can stop it. And now our data is on our USB stick and we can bring it back to our PC. Our third method for USB data logging is to set up from the front panel. So this is a good thing to do when we don't have a lot of channels. So our, for our current example, we only have three channels. So we'll go ahead and set it up from the front panel. So we'll start by configuring our first channel, which is again a temperature measurement. So we'll go ahead and select temperature. We'll select thermistor. And we'll select 10K ohms. So that channel is set up. We'll measure degree C with 0.1 degree resolution. Moving on to channel two, we'll accept the defaults as just a DC voltage measurement. And channel number three will, is also a DC volt measurement, so we'll accept the defaults. But I do want to add scaling, so I can do that from the front panel. We're going to set a gain. It's already programmed in at 37.5. And we're going to set an offset Again, it's already programmed in minus 37.75. We'll set a label that's a little bit more meaningful. Once again, it's programmed in. Great. So now our channels are configured. We could go ahead and set an alarm from the front panel, but we're not going to do that for this video. Instead, we're going to go ahead and jump to our scan interval. So we can go ahead and set our scan interval up. So we can select how many seconds between scans. I've selected three. I've also selected continuous. So it'll continue to make measurements until we stop it. So now we can start our scan. So now we're scanning every three seconds, and the data is being stored in our USB stick. Another nice feature about the 34972 is if you lose power, because of a power failure, the unit will come back up. And as soon as it comes back up, it'll start data logging again. And the nice thing about it is that all the readings are time stamped, so it's easy to identify that gap. So you'll have your data before the power failure, and then your, your data after it, and you'll have the gap in between with the time stamps. So let's go ahead and stop our scan now. Okay. And we can go ahead and remove our USB stick with our data on it. And we'll go back to the PC. I want to show you what the files look like on the USB stick. As you can see, it saves both the data file and it also saves the configuration. So if you 
open it up, you can actually see the type of hardware that was used to make the measurement and so that you can recreate it easily. The second file is the one that actually contains the data. Last night I took some data, so I set the scan to happen every one minute. I measured both the temperature and humidity, and from that I was able to create a graph. So you can see the temperature falling started at 80 degrees Fahrenheit, dropped down to about 70, and during that same period of time the humidity started at about 35 percent and rose to just over 50 percent. So in summary, there's three different methods to use USB and data logging with the 34972. If you have lots of channels and the PC is close to your 34972, use a direct connection. If your data acquisition box is remote, you can use the USB stick to configure your 34972. And finally, if you just have a couple channels, it's really easy to set it up from the front panel and capture your readings on the USB stick and then bring it to your PC and upload it into common applications such as Excel. So I hope you found this useful. Thank you very much.